The new movie Ready Player One directed by Steven Spielberg is a neat film that seems tailored to the gamer geeks out there. It is packed full of gamer and movie jargon from the last 40 years and has trivia for movie geeks too. Did anyone hear the famous Wilhelm scream? I hope Spielberg threw that in as a piece de resistance. The movie and video game references are an interesting combination and make the movie fun to watch. There is even slight references to Spielberg's own films in the movie and other directors. Does it contain a little too much pop culture from the media? Perhaps it does, but there is a positive message in the movie, even though it leaves a lot of future science possibilities out. The universe of this movie is one of dystopia. It makes for an interesting backdrop to the virtual reality portrayed in the movie. However, there are some plot elements of debt and private security which would be illegal in the U.S., although certain elements are true today with certain media companies. Also, there are parts of the dystopian future which have already occurred, such as the trailer homes stacked on top of one another with metal braces. Game avatars are also nothing new, as some of the first games using them came out in the 1990s, limited only by availability of high-speed bandwidth. I do like the acting and was impressed by actress Hannah John Kamen as one of the major antagonists. The talent made the movie enjoyable and I look forward to seeing them in the future but the casting is kind of liberal Hollywood cliché. Should you see this movie? Sure why not, as it is an enjoyable American media pop culture send up to video games and popular movies. Spoiler, wait for the magical spell in the second half of the movie. It is from the 1981 film Excalibur, Winky Face.